Let me know when you find him. Any sign? He's not at the Dingles or at Eric's. Well, I've searched the whole garden. I mean, where are the police? They're on their way. Dotty, we won't be a second. Sorry I missed your call. You know what it's like in the morning. It's such a rush. Just wondered if Archie wanted to lift to school. He's run right away. Hey, where's she gone? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be going off my head. I mean, what if he's got on a bus or just got lost walking? I mean, he doesn't even know his way around here. Look, I'll get everybody out searching barns and sheds, OK? Yeah, someone will spot him. You know, you see a little boy on their own, you don't ignore that. It will be funny. Dude, he could have been gone all night. And he's freezing. I, I can help walk. Oh, sweetheart. Look, I know you're worried, but it's best you go to school. I don't want to. Dad, would you mind dropping him off and taking Dottie to nursery? Of course I will. Come on. Yeah, I'll let you know when we find him, all right? I promise? Yeah, I promise. We should have found him by now. We've got officers out all over the area. I feel like I should be doing more. You're better off here. Most of the time, kids come back home and they've no idea that everyone's been looking for them. I oh. just heard the news. Is there anything we can do? Oh, the police are out there looking for him now. Well, what are you doing here, anyway? Guilty conscience? No. Well, you should have. You're the reason he's gone. <gasps> you can't blame Jimmy. He attacked Archie. What? I didn't. You didn't mention this earlier, Mr Sharma. He grabbed my son. Scared him to death. That's the reason he's run away. I can think of loads of other reasons, and Jimmy isn't one of them. Meaning? Well, he was upset about losing his mum, Jay. And having to live with his dad, who hasn't been interested in him for the past two years and wasn't exactly happy to have him dumped on him. That is not true. The kid's messed up, Jay, and you need to take a look in the mirror. Yeah, and so does Jimmy. Well, it's not the first time he's grabbed him. He left a bruise on him a few weeks ago. I can't believe you're bringing all this up again. That wasn't me, I swear. Well, the kid said it was. I, uh, I think it might be helpful to our inquiries if you and I had a little chat. Somewhere quieter. Honestly? I honestly haven't done anything. You're trying to pin this on Jimmy. You know he wouldn't hurt a fly. We all saw him lose it with Archie. He was defending Angelica. Archie's a bully. I, let's not start throwing accusations around, all right? You've already done that. Come with me, tell the police you got it wrong. No, I didn't. And I am not going anywhere until my son comes home. That is all I care about. Laurel, please. I thought we got past all this. You know Jimmy. He's a gentle giant. Well, yeah, well, he is to us. But if you're Archie's size, he's just a frightened little boy. Jimmy should never have touched him, Nick. Oh, I see. You're on their side. No, I just want to find Archie. You used to be my best mate. And I still am. Not anymore. <sighs> oh, it's school. Hello? What is it now? Uh, right, OK, thanks for letting me know. Um, I'm sure he's on his way home because uh, there's a family emergency, so, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Arthur's not at school. Back. It's brilliant news. Yeah, Arthur found him. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> what are you doing here? The police let him go. You were arrested? No. He should have been. He's done nothing wrong. You can't call attacking Archie nothing. Jay, don't do this in front of the children. No, you're right. Can you take him outside to play, please? You don't have to do that. No, I think it's probably best. I knew you'd take his side, Judas. Now, there's no need for that. Archie, uh, I'm glad you're back, and I'm sorry if I scared you. Look at him. You see what you've done? You've traumatised the grieving boy. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't keep apologising. None of this is your fault. That's not entirely true. Oh, wow, I didn't even see your lips move. I've told you, don't talk to Laurel like that. You stay out of this. I am defending my daughter. Just like Jimmy defended his. By grabbing Archie. I didn't hurt him. Well, I haven't checked yet. But if the bruise from last time is anything to go by... That wasn't me! Yeah, well, we've only your word for it. Well, I believe him. We all do. You can't keep denying it. My son is so terrified of you that he ran away. It's your fault, so stay away from him. And if the rest of you have got any sense, you won't let him anywhere near your kids either. He should be locked up. <laughs> 